Uh, let's talk a bit about this this idea of, about paying for, for public school. So, so you know, give us some of the, the background on this. Yeah, so the idea has just come from a, the Centre from Ind- for Independent Studies. And uh, they had the idea that because education is continuing to increase in costs over time, it's becoming a larger part of the, the government's uh, expenditure the funding mechanisms should change and so they were suggesting that they're saying higher income earners and they're saying that somebody uh, or families that are er earning more than $130,000 a year that they should pay $1,000 towards their public school costs uh, per child and they were basically saying that then this would pull back the amount of money that the government would need to pay towards the schooling system and make it a fairer system because it's a user pays uh, type system. Would that would that affect the, the level of the way education works? Would that affect actually the standard of education if, if you had uh, what would feel like more money coming into it or, or would it just, it actually wouldn't change it at all? Yeah, an interesting comment by the author uh, stated that it's pretty consistent finding in Australia and in, uh, internationally uh, that there's no relationship between the amount of funding that goes into the school system and uh, the level of achievement in the system. So there's a bit of a mismatch between how much money is spent and the outcomes. But w- one of the uh, key outcomes of this type of change would, I think, be that uh, it would potentially push more people towards the private school system uh, because if you're paying for the public school system then they might think well I might as well pay for a private school education instead so uh, I think somebody commenting on the on the idea uh, said that that would be an outcome and move people away from the public schools which could then mean there'd be less money in the public schools and and they would then suffer I guess yeah, exactly. It would uh, it would have an impact on the public school system. Yes, I, I don't think politically that this type of approach would actually be able to be floated, or I don't think it would get through. We have such an ingrained culture in Australian society that uh, we should have a free education. And whilst you know you speak to most people who have kids in the public school system, that they do actually pay five hundred dollars or so per child anyway. Uh, so it's not totally a free uh, system, but this would just emphasise it so the more user pays type system the thing is though isn't it that i mean in, in australia we've we've got this whole thing about i mean i know as you say it's not a free education system in that there are there are odd levies and and school school trips and things like that which we do pay for but but basically it is free it feels like a, a step on a slippery slope yeah and it- I guess it's like the higher education system that it originally was a free system. You could go to uni without paying any fees at all and over time they introduced the higher education fees and they've just continued to escalate over time. So I think this would be, a, I guess, a, the first step on that. As, as you mentioned there, Alan, that it would end up being a more and more user pay system. Mm, very interesting. Okay, well, uh, maybe at home you think it's a good idea that uh, people who, who earn a bit more should pay a bit more into the state school system. We'd love to hear your comments. You can call us. The lines are open on one eight hundred eighty eight zero eighty seven six.